tomorrow and into myself Away from things I let go Floating on the way We go bottoms up We go all the way When you're feeling down Push the pain away We go bottoms up We go all the way And face the another day We go bottoms up Get our, our Stokey Mansion, the, Stokey Titan, mansion. The, the Titans Mansion. That's right. Our office will be on separate sides of the fucking mansion. <laughs> I cannot hear you type. <laughs> can't do it. That's all right. I'm okay with that. I think I think they should be on East Wing, West Wing. Though. Yes, they most definitely will. <laughs> I will slip my wrist. I gotta hear you type a report. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Scar Titan here once again with my girlfriend, brother Stokey. Say hello to the people. That's what his keyboard sounds like. <laughs> Brother Stogie. Type Back at it with another product review from New Air. Yes, it is. So, it's, it's springtime. Yes. Coming on summer. Yes, and in summer, or in, I'm sorry, in California, it's summertime in springtime. It is. And sometimes winter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes fall. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes summer again. Yeah, that's right. So, he has a t-shirt on, Al on the hoodie. He's, in, he's at is home. It, is it warm? Is it hot? You know what I'm saying? I just came from driving. It was a little breezy it's outside. Cold, it's warm. You know, it was 110, it was 103 degrees, what, five days ago? Yep. <laughs> it was 62 degrees just yesterday. And raining. And raining. Yeah, nuts. So, back to what the this video was about. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Summertime is coming up. New air is popping with everything you need. You centers. Summertime. That's right. We gonna get it here on this channel for you. You ready to get started? Into. I know all about that life. I don't get to interrupt many video sessions with the phone calls from work. <laughs> <laughs> that one was important. All right, back to it. Welcome back everybody. So like we said at the beginning of the episode, we have another product review for you today here with New Air. And this one, Brother Stogie, is, is for going out. We already got a little bit of dirt on the tires here. We already put this yes. to some use over the weekend. Yes. Hope everybody enjoyed the B-roll footage up yes. to the video. Brother Stogie, if you're going out for the summer, mm -hmm. maybe you're going out with your family. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're going out with your boys. Yes. Maybe you're going out, maybe you're having a picnic with your girl. Yes. You need something to carry your food and your drinks, right? But it can be a hassle mm -hmm. to have to load an ice chest up with a bunch of ice and then things get buried underneath that ice. And you gotta dig underneath to get everything you want. And then if something tears or the ice starts to melt, then it can seep into the food and things like that. And so it can be kind of a hassle, right? Right. But New Air's got you covered. I got a story for you. So me and the old lady, right? We went and we bought some beautiful fruit tarts. And I believe it was from, uh, not like the, the World Market? World, yeah, it's, it's like, okay. it's a world, world Market or something like that. We went and bought some beautiful, beautiful fruit tarts. I'm like, you know what? We're gonna put this in our basic ass igloo. Okay. And we're gonna just get the bag of ice, not gonna open the ice, we're just gonna get the bag of ice yep. and put them on top. Okay. So that, you know, no water will get into our fruit tarts. Right. We got to our destination, like, you know what? Babe, I want a fruit tart. Mm. Open it up, no fruit tart. No. What happened to the fruit tart? Bag of ice melted. <laughs> the fruit tart was under the water. <laughs> oh, no. Totally just ruined <laughs> bro fruit tarts. Right. The berries were frozen, you know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> but the custard and the fruit tart, 
was, <laughs> they were a loss. It was a loss, you know what I'm saying? So this way here, New Era has brought a product, they have a product on their website. This is a 48 quart car, fridge, and freezer. Yes. Okay, you can plug this up when, you, when you're traveling with your boys, you know what I'm saying? If the truck is not full, you put this and put the adapter in, turn it on, Yep. and you don't need a bag of ice. Plus, when you have a nice ice chest, maybe you buy one of those more expensive ice chests. You know which ones I'm talking about. Coleman's. Coleman's. The Bass Pro Shop. The Igloos. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but Cabela has a couple of them. Yes, well, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about, right? Yes. So you start getting into that, and then you, you buy, you know, all this ice and you fill up this ice chest, what ends up happening? It takes up a vast majority of the oh, space that too. in your cooler, which that means too. you can carry less. Yes. You know, but again, New Air's got you covered. Now you talked a little bit about, you know, the plugs and stuff like that and how you can connect it mm -hmm. to, the, to the car, maybe connect it to your truck. But before we get into all that. Yes. We're Cigar Titans. We got two things we need to do. One. Uh -huh. Talk about what we're smoking today. And two, we need a drink. Yes. What'd you smoke? So today I am actually smoking a grumpy gringo. Yes, you heard me right. Not a grumpy white man. <laughs> this is a grumpy gringo cigar. Now I actually got this cigar when I was out in Arizona. Uh, probably about two months ago mm -hmm. and went to the Grumpy Gringo Cigar Lounge in Tubac, Arizona. Really kind of a small quaint place and a nice little, I guess you could call it a village there. Okay. Super friendly people. Got to meet the tobacconist there. I don't remember if he was the owner or not. I think the owner showed up later. Had a good conversation. We we're all sitting outside the cigar lounge around a nice big bonfire and everything. Oh. Smoking our stogies, just having conversation and stuff like that. Really, really cool, nice, down-to-earth group of people. So if you're ever around the Tubac area, which is just outside of Nogales, as you're heading south, I think on the 19 freeway in Arizona, okay. check out Grumpy Gringo Cigar Lounge. Oh, the whole cigar lounge is called Grumpy Gringo. It's called Grumpy Gringo. Gringo. Okay. But let's tell you, what are you smoking? What, what, what would we call a cigar lounge like that? The Grumpy... <laughs> the Grumpy Titans. The, grump, the Grumpy Negro? <laughs> That's a grumpy. <laughs> can I get a membership there? I don't know if I can get a membership, can I get a membership there. Yeah, no. absolutely. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're I right. see what you're, you're doing. You're all there. <laughs> Exclusive membership there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, bro. I think I'm going to see the truck on this one. You know what I'm <laughs> Let's see. I'm smoking. Let's see. This is the Carlos Torano. And this is the Exodus 1959. Okay. I went on the store one of Cigar Titans. Toronto was out of his uh, humidor because I forgot to give him a bag from the house when I was on my way to work because I was busy this morning. Okay. But you don't mind because you're my bro, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mi casa es su Mi cigar es su cigar. Mi humidor. I don't know what humidor is. It? Is there a Spanish word for humidor? Yeah, humidor. Okay. Mi humidor. <laughs> yeah, you get it. <laughs> Let's crack open oh, a drink. Go ahead. All right, and this is nice and chilled. Brother Stogie, will you do the honors? Oh, like butter. Bruh! <laughs> Bruh! That's right. There's a whole bottle opener. And I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope I, was, I was thirsty, shit. So a couple of the nice features before we get into all the plug-in stuff and the yes. technical jargon here. On the top of the new air cooler, you have four little spots here where you can actually place your drinks if you you need a surface to put some stuff down. Um, it's great for that. There's a nice little flat surface here. It does have the new air emblem mm -hmm. in the center there, but you got a nice little flat surface here that is convenient for some other things that we'll get into once we open up the cooler. Mm -hmm. But Brother Stogie, yes. you were talking a little bit about how this unit plugs in. So there's a couple of ways that this unit actually can get power. So, one way you can get power, which was kind of nice that I like, that there's an attachment you go ahead and connect solar panel, a solar power panel. Yes. Or a solar panel to get power. So if you're at the beach, you're at the park, yep. hunting, fishing, maybe you have a solar power generator, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead, 
connect it up, boom, you get your power straight from there. Yep. Super convenient, right? Especially if you're at the beach all day when you're sitting in the sun, right. you don't have a way to cool this off. You don't want to dump, you know, bags of ice in there and then, you know, ruin the space that you have in there as it is. Have a solar power generator, take that with you, plug it in, you're good to go. So I just mind you, the max solar input volt voltage is 50 volts. Max solar input current is 10 amps. Okay, so don't get nothing above there, or you're gonna blow out the unit. Right. Okay. Don't get nothing smaller than that, because then you won't be able to chill your shit. Right. So read the directions, it's all in here for you. And mind you, the solar power connections is not included in this unit. You gotta go buy it. Go to Harbor Freight or something. That's right. Now, when I was driving this out to the beach this weekend, there's a couple of ways you can actually hook this up. Now, in my particular vehicle, I, I drive a truck. I think everybody knows I drive a truck. Mm -hmm. I've got power outlets all over the place in this mm -hmm. thing. So I can plug it into the bed of my truck. I have a 2000 watt generator that runs in my truck. Um, it's a part of the build of the truck. So I can plug it into the bed of the truck if I want to. Sexy trimmer, huh? Sexy trimmer. Sexy trimmer. That's right. It has a, it has a generator in the damn truck. That's right, but not everybody has a normal outlet type plug in their vehicle. Mm. This unit actually does come with what I, you know, I'm old, so we're gonna refer to it as a cigarette charger okay. plug, but you can actually plug it into the cigarette charger as well, and it turns the unit on full power and you can cool your stuff as you're it's driving. It's just called a carport. Carport. Is okay. it a carport, like where you park your car? No, nope, just a carport to put the little adapter in. Okay, I'm sure there's another name for it. Feel free to leave it down in the comments if you know what it is. Brother Stogie and I are gonna call it two different things. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm referring to what New Air refers to it. Okay, okay. okay for instructions for in vehicle use, engine start, select HM or L mode on here, refer to the operating instructions right here, and use the carport power to operate the refrigerator. Okay, you win. You know what I'm saying? You so. Win. While you driving, no, I ain't gonna put that advice out there, you know? <laughs> open, open containers and shit, no? Well, you could have a Pepsi or a, a Coca-Cola. Or a ginger ale. Or you know, ginger if you ale. get thirsty on the trip, mm. you need a bottle of water, you can go and plug it up in the truck. Boom. It says when using the car battery to charge, most cars will stop power supply after the engine is turned off. While some cars will continue to supply power, at this time, the battery protection should be adjusted to H. Otherwise, the car battery may be exhausted, resulting in insufficient power to start the car. Yes. So you gotta be smart. Make sure you read the manual. Make sure you know what kind of power your car can generate before you hook something like this up. You don't wanna go out, spend money on a unit like this, plug it into you know your car. Your car can't handle the amount of wattage that's required to power this unit, unit up and then you end up running the battery down, you gotta call your buddy for a jump. But the good thing is, or, you gotta call your buddy for a jump, you have a pack full of beers ready to go or, when it gets there. You win all your buddies, and you ain't gonna buy you the car. <laughs> and y'all decide to pull up to the beach, I see some sexy babies over there, hey, hey. That's where you make it a tailgate party. <laughs> Come on over here, you know what I'm saying? Everybody all drinking and having a good time, they like, hey, mm -hmm. while we get on up out of here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Pack it all up, put the bottles in there, so you got some drinking, and y'all ready to go get the party started somewhere else. You go, oh shit, <laughs> my truck is dead. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not only did you not, did you not read the instructions, you didn't ruin all the poo tang for all your brothers. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Dead truck, no poo tang. That's a damn bad day. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So a couple of the other features for this unit that you probably saw at the beginning of the video uh, when we're doing some of the B-roll footage is it does have the handle here and there's two little knobs here, I guess that you would pull up or levers here that you can pull up and then the handle here extends out so that when you need to transport this unit from one place to the next, you can go ahead and pull this out, pull it up and just let it drag behind you. And the handle is very sturdy. The wheels are nice, big dimension type wheels here. Yep. Very nice, very straight. The roll is nice and is the, the roll on the ground is nice and easy. Yeah. Even when we have to throw the thing over sand, yeah. it was still easy to transport. Still easy to transport. The handle here is actually wrapped in kind of a, a rubber lining here, so it's very soft on the hands. It's not like a hard plastic or anything like that. It actually feels like a quality build on the unit here. And then, brother, so you got a full digital display here that we'll show right now on the B-roll footage. Yes. So with the so with your full digital display, 
What you get is you'll be able to get the temperature range. The temperature range from this bad boy is negative 20 degrees Celsius to, let's see, negative four. This is, this is, this is change the temperature. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative four degrees Fahrenheit this thing goes down to? Yes. So you can you can keep you can keep your food nice and chill, all your perishables in there. Keep your brewskis nice and frosted. Negative four degrees. Negative four degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what you would need to transport. <laughs> are, you, are you working for the cartel? Like, <laughs> so <laughs> negative four degrees. This is Ooh. brother Stogie approved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not only can you go ahead and you can down and put the temperature that you want for your desired levels if you want to hire some ice cream. Family man, you know what I'm saying? He's like, hey, you can be a cartel. No, <laughs> family man. I might have some some ice creams, some strawberry shortcakes. Right. Some hag and dads. Yeah, but like, you can get it down to like 32 degrees. Maybe a bit, right? nah, man, I want my, it might be a hot day. Like negative four degrees, that's like yeah. sub-zero temperature. <laughs> and maybe I might, we might be going on a camping trip. <laughs> and I need to throw some meat. I need that meat frozen until we get to our destination. Again, 30 degrees would still keep it frozen. No, I need, no, I need much <laughs> solid, <laughs> solid, okay? And to be, and, not, and man, to be brother told you approved. Right. Not only can you set the dial, set the desired temperatures, keep whatever you in there nice and chill, chill or frozen as hell, this bad boy has a cutting board on it. Mm. So why don't we open it up and take a look? So now I did show some of the B-roll footage at the beginning that shows the inside of the unit there. But if you're somebody that is, you know, when you go out, you're, maybe you're camping, maybe you're at the beach, like Brother Stogie this weekend, you're cooking, you need a place to actually cook, it comes with a cutting board. With a cutting board. Super, super. And what you do is you take it out and, and you have a spot. It's stuck on my gut. It's stuck <laughs> on my <thumb. laughs> You have a spot that Smith exactly well, right there. Yep. With a cutting board. Cut some strawberries. Yeah. Feed it to the wife. Yeah. Feed it to the old lady. I'm telling you. Feed it to the booskies for the breezy, the snow bunny. You know <laughs> the breezies. <laughs> so now, Brother Stogie, we've been sitting out here shooting this video for roughly about 15 minutes. When I initially plugged this thing in about 15 minutes ago, mm -hmm. this unit was sitting at about 71 degrees when I plugged it in because it had been sitting out unplugged for a little while. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes later, this unit has officially dropped down to 47 degrees wow. in 15 minutes. Wow. That is incredible. And one of the other things that we forgot to mention, we had the unit open here. Pop that up. Now, Matt, it doesn't open. Just pull it up like a regular egg boot. Okay? Right. It has that latch right there. Keep nice and easy latch. Keep it secure. And it comes with LED lighting on both sides. So if you are using this unit at night, you don't have a flashlight with you or something like that. I know there's flashlights on most cell phones and everything like that. But in con you know, for convenience factor, it comes with built-in LED lights there that help you see what's actually in the unit. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, this unit is separated into two different, I guess, quadrants or areas here where you can keep your goodies. Yeah. So how much does this thing weigh? That I don't know. This bad boy is- Now I've picked it up a couple of times. You can tell me if I get close. Go ahead. So I picked this up a couple of times. Empty, I would say this unit weighs 30 pounds. 41 pounds. Hmm. So 41 pounds, 28 dimensions in width, 18 inches in depth, and 20 inches in height. Okay. So those are the dimensions for that ass. So brothers tell you, what is the total cost of this unit? So you know, when you when you want some good shit, okay? Right. You gotta pay a little bit of money. For you are. You know what I'm saying? So you got, it's illuminated on the inside, you can you can plug it up via solar panel. Yep. You can plug it up via generator. It's very versatile. You can plug it up if you've got the correct connections in your truck or your vehicle. You know what I'm saying? It has a cutting board. There's a cutting board. Come on, man. Yep. It's wheels. It's durable. Fifty-five forty-nine ninety-nine. Forty-five forty-seven. Fifty-five forty-nine no, ninety-nine. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's a real number. Fifty-five forty-four ninety-nine. You heard it here first, folks. Fifty-five forty-four ninety-nine. Forty-two. Thirty-two. Five forty-seven. No, five hundred forty-nine dollars ninety-nine. There you go. Straight from newair.com.
And I cannot stress this enough, we are now down to 39 degrees in under 20 minutes of having this unit on. This unit cools super fast. So this is definitely a premium item. So when you're thinking about, you know, this versus an igloo, there really is no comparison. You know, new air cooler versus an igloo. There just isn't. They serve similar functions, but this one does it a lot more effectively mm -hmm. and a lot better. And in my opinion, is a lot more reliable. And again, I think one of the best selling points about having a unit like this, now it's 38, holy crap, this thing is cool and quick. One of the best things I think about having a unit like this is just being able to save the space inside the unit so you don't have to load it up with a ton of ice where you may need to use two or three ice chests to get all the stuff you wanna to take to the beach or camping or stuff like that because you have gotta load it up with ice to make sure it stays cool. You just don't have to do that with this unit. Plug it in, you're good to go. And we had, we had Stella's and Corona's. Mm -hmm. We had food on the other side that we stored in here to take to the beach. We had plenty of room. All degrees. without having ice Ooh. in it. That is cold. Right? That is cold. 15, roughly 15 minutes, and that thing is just chilly. So, remember, you all, New Air always has this warranty on there. Make sure you check the, the owner's manual for all what you can't do to the unit in order to avoid your warranty. Right. Okay? If you get to latch your truck and the shit falls out of the back on the freeway, it's not going to be covered. <laughs> right. <laughs> But okay. Brother Stogie, yes. if you come to the Cigar Titans YouTube channel and you see the Cigar Titans reviewing a new air product, mm -hmm. are we going to make the Titan family pay full price no. for a new air product? No. Go to the description. You will get the coupon code. <laughs> get that 3% off. That's right. Use the coupon code. Let them know the Cigar Titans sent you. Cannot recommend this unit enough for anybody who is an outdoorsman type person, likes spending their time at the beach, the river, camping, things like that. Mm -hmm. You've got to check this unit out. It is definitely, definitely worth the price. Anybody who's been watching our channel for a while, y'all know we don't just review products to be reviewing product, all right? We review product that we believe in, yep. that we use. This here I use for my family because um, I trust it. It's, it's worth what, what, it, what it does. Summertime is coming. We're gonna yep. have more new air product. There's yep. more things that you can use to set up your stogie lounge to smoke. They got, they got. <laughs> 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 you know, know that burp was pretty good to you. You know what I'm saying? They got pedestal fans that have a misting system hooked up to it. Yes, I like the way you're talking tonight. It's like maybe you've had like one too many beers. Misting systems and. <laughs> But yes, you are 100% correct. They have a misting system. I'm done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to Jasmine Filarino. Thank you so much for keeping us in mind to review New Air products. We absolutely love the quality of New Air. It's why we continue doing exactly what we're doing here. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go on Instagram at New Air USA on Instagram. Follow them, like them, see all the stuff they have. They have everything from humidors for your cigars, refrigerators, ice machine, you name it. New Air has it all. Okay, go check them out, give them a like, tell them the Cigar Titan says you, and enjoy yourself. Get something for your family. Brother Stoney. Yep. Yeah. Down to 36 degrees, mm -hmm. and that is all the time we have today. It is. What should the people do? Subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to those who tuned in to our first episode of Lounge Talk. Yes. Okay, we enjoyed all the comments and from the gather, we, we gathered the, the, the census. I think the fam liked it. They did, and they want some more of it. So you know what? Y'all got it. If y'all want to be a part of that, you got to subscribe to the damn channel. What y'all just got to do is like the damn channel. Yes. Like it. The more you like, the more you see. <laughs> all right? Hit the bell so you get new notification every time Scar Titan posts a new video for y'all. Till next time, I'm about to get another beer. <laughs> yeah, how you, you smoke? <laughs> smoke how you live. That's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll see everybody next week. <laughs>